Thank you, Asheikh Asfandiar, for the beautiful recitation. Honorable Minister, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I now have the distinct pleasure to invite Honorable Professor Datuk Sri Dr. Zaliha Kamarudin, Rector of the International Islamic University, Malaysia, to deliver her welcoming remarks. Sayyidati wa Sadati, yusharifun al-an anada'akum ma'abruf datu sri Dr. Zulaykha bin Tukamaruddin, Mudiratu Jami'at al-Islamiyat al-Alamiyat fi Malaysia, ma'a kalimatan laha tarhibiya. Shukran lakum. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Yang berhormat datu sri Idris Jusuh, Honorable Minister of Higher Education, Malaysia, Dr. Muhammad Azrai Kasim, Chairman of the International Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization, ESCO, His Excellency, Dr. Anwar Al-Aga, Ambassador of the State of Palestine, representatives of embassies, education institutions, conference partners, honorable guests, and distinguished speakers, participants, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And a very good morning. Alhamdulillah, with the grace of Allah, we are here, and I feel very honored to be given uh, the opportunity to welcome our Minister of Higher Education, Datuk Sri Idris Jusso, and delegates to the first international conference on enhancing educational opportunities under the International Educational Science and Cultural Organization. I hope this conference will be a promising starting point for Malaysia to build strong foundation to support education and culture in developing countries in general and Palestine in particular. As you know that we have these unending conflicts, human conflicts, which necessitates efforts to uphold people's rights to education, despite blatant breach of international conventions through international laws and norms. In IIUM, we do not just talk, but we walk our talk. In 2016, with the assistance of the OIC, we invited the Secretary General of OIC then, Tan Sri Dr. Iyad Madani, to launch scholarships. Uh, we called it OIC Malaysia Scholarship for Women in Conflict Zones. This, is, uh, this was in conjunction with WISE, what we say, World Women, uh, actually is Muslim Women Summit, uh, which was organized with Jakim. Um, uh, we got the assistance of 20 public universities, Datuk Sri. They all have agreed to give places and scholarships coming from 20 universities to sponsor women from conflict zones. And Alhamdulillah, IIUM, we gave 20 scholarships and with the help of other universities as well, the total of scholarships given to women from conflict zone total up to 15 million, one five. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, as a secretariat for the scholarship, we kept reminding uh, universities in Malaysia to fulfill their promise and we are keeping in our VCs council to ensure that the places that was offered is taken up by women from conflict zones. We also request assistance from embassies to provide us names. Unfortunately, we had um, various barriers to enforce, uh, to ensure that women uh, manage to come to Malaysia, the land of peace, uh, where they could study in peace as well, but there were many complications. Sometimes the offer came to that specific place, but these women were no longer there. So we hope uh, with partnerships with our strategic partners, we can get them to come to Malaysia uh, to study. Uh, 
some of the universities are offering uh, specific disciplines, but for RIUM, we offer to them uh, whatever courses that they want, as long as these courses are relevant to build up their country again. So the partnership and the reason for us co-organizing uh, as scientific partners to ESCO is to further the development of giving scholarships not only to women, because some of the VCs were asking me why particularly for women in conflict zones. I told them uh, most of the women became war widows, most of them. The men were not there anymore. They became the sole breadwinner for their family, so they need to be trained. And the skills used after coming back, it means that we are also not giving visa to them, but also visa for their family as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we are doing it because we believe that education is one of the most important sources of development in society in all fields. A society that improves the education and rehabilitation of its members will assist in providing the human resources capable of operating and managing the other elements of development. The level of its education determines the efficiency and creativity in its optimal utilization. Therefore, as a group, we must devote all our focus on sustainable development via education, via universities as institutions of higher learning under the leadership of Datuk Sri Idris Jusso. In this conference, we do not need any debate. We have seen with our own eyes the repercussion of wars and conflicts. Our TVs, our mass media, our social media are full of it. What we need to do is to work for it. But before we work for it, we are in dire need of dialogue. Through this dialogue, we hope to illuminate very important and pertinent areas, clarify some vague issues, and how much we succeed in drawing inspiration from this understanding. We were told that this is a two-day conference, although it's not adequate to discuss issues, but at the same time, there'll be, uh, I was told that there'll be drive for donations to assist. So we hoped, I was informed just now, they tried to collect certain sum of millions to assist in terms of scholarships. Finally, a word of thanks and gratitude to the main organizer and everyone who will be participating in this two-day conference and to those who had prepared and coordinate this conference and we hope that this conference will be a success. With that, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.